Gold is believed to have originated from the collisions and explosions of massive stars called supernovae. During a supernova event, the intense heat and pressure cause nuclear reactions that generate elements heavier than iron, including gold. These newly formed heavy elements are then ejected into space. Over billions of years, these dispersed elements, including gold, become part of interstellar clouds and gas. These clouds eventually collapse under the influence of gravity, giving rise to new stars and planetary systems, including our own. As the newly formed star, which is our sun, began to form, the remaining gas and dust formed a rotating disk around it known as the protoplanetary disk. Within this disk, small particles collided and gradually accreted to form planetesimals, which are building blocks of planets. During the formation of planetesimals, gold and other heavy elements would have been present in varying concentrations due to the processes that occurred within the protoplanetary disk. Some of these planetesimals eventually merged to form the Earth, bringing along the gold and other elements they contained. Gold in the Earth is primarily found in the Earth's crust, which is the outermost layer of the planet. It occurs in various forms, such as veins within rocks, placer deposits in riverbeds, or in association with certain geological formations. The precise mechanisms and processes of how gold is concentrated within specific areas of the Earth's crust are still subjects of ongoing scientific research. However, geological processes such as hydrothermal activity, volcanic activity, and erosion play important roles in the concentration and deposition of gold over time. It's worth noting that the Earth's gold reserves are finite, and mining operations are conducted to extract gold from deposits that are economically viable. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe my channel student notes.